welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, from my series of little bear and animal dolls the little outfit that little Teddy is wearing here and that is a little pair of overalls with a cute little scarf. Now this little pattern will suit any one of my animal dolls. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below. Of course there's free pattern templates. Download those and I'll show you how it's done. So first we're going to make up our little scarf, as you see here, our little scarf with the little knotted ends. And you just cut your fabric strip, it's just a strip, and the measurement for that one is five and a half centimetres by 60 centimetres. And you can see that I've done here, I've just pressed that one in half, and I'm going to stitch right the way around, because this one's on a fold, so I'm going to stitch right the way around just with a little about a three to four centimeter seam allowance right the way down I'm going to leave a little space for turning that only needs to be about three to four centimeters and I'm going to travel all the way up and up to the end here now that one is stitched I'm just going to just trim those corners so that when I turn that through, I can make a nice point in those corners. I'm going to turn that one through, through my little opening that I have left there, and then I'm going to give it a press. Now my little scarf is all sewn up and turned through, that little opening there, I'm going to take it back to the machine and just stitch that little opening closed. And our next step then is just to put two little knots at either end there, I knot them really quite close to the end and make sure that that little knot is really tight and that's really the quickest way to make a simple little scarf really pull that knot down and of course you can make a slightly wider scarf if you like and there we go that's our little scarf all ready to go and just to show you, this is another alternative you're, if you're looking to make something really quick and easy. I've made the little scarf on, on my little meerkat doll here. I've just used the neckline of an old t-shirt. So that's just a bit of upcycling that you can do too. And you can see if you're using a variety of fabrics, that makes a really cute little scarf. Just done the same way, except you don't have to sew it up and you just knot the ends. So moving on to our little overalls, these are the pieces that you'll need. You'll need your two pieces for your front and your two pieces for the back. Now those pieces are all the same, but obviously you have them reversed. So we've got our back and our front, and then we have our two facing pieces. And they just make the whole top edge nice and tidy so we've got our two little facing pieces there and we also have a strip for the little straps that are going to go over his shoulders and that little strip is just a piece that is cut and that is three and a half centimeters by 15 centimeters we're actually going to cut that one in half so that will make both of the little straps if you want to add a little patch as i have on these little overalls here just a little scrap of something and of course you could cover the the overalls with little patches and so on this is just a, a you know a basic idea for you to start with so I'm going to be adding that one because it is the same little color as my scarf and then of course you'll need some kind of fastening for your little straps I just use your regular little snaps so to begin with we're going to sew up our strap so those are all ready now you can see there that what I've done is I have just pressed either side just in probably about five millimeters either side and then I'm going to take that to the iron and I'm going to press it in half. And then I'm going to stitch. It's up to you whether you make two rows of stitching. I will probably just do the one row of stitching. Once that's pressed, I'm going to sew very close to the edge just all the way along there down to the bottom. You can see that I have stitched those top stitch, that little piece, and I've just zigzagged two of the ends. 
just to stop that at those ends fraying away and then I've cut that little piece exactly in half and we can put those aside ready for when we're putting together the facings. So our next step is to sew our centre front and our centre back seams and that is this seam here and this seam here on the machine and that seam allowance is just the same, it's about four millimetres. So you can see that I've sewn those two seams and then I've pressed them out and I haven't treated those seams, I haven't overlocked or zigzagged those edges. I do on some of the other seams but not this one because I like to press it out flat. So I've decided that this will be my front because they're both the same, it really doesn't matter. And I have pressed my little patch into place. The positioning for that one is right in the centre. I turn it on its side and make it a little diamond shape. It's about six centimetres from that point to the hem of your little pants. You can press that on and then I'm just going to do a close little stitch around the edge to set that in place. So there you can see I've just stitched on my little patch and then our next step is to pop our facings on. Now the facing on the front is simply a matter of, actually before I've done that I've taken those to the machine and I have just sewn a little zigzag, a tight zigzag stitch across the bottom just to secure that edge and stop it fraying away on both of those pieces. And you can see here that I've just put right sides together. This is the front and so we just pop that one on there and we're going to sew from this edge up across the top and down here and we're going to leave these side pieces open here. So that's for the, for the front. With the back piece of course we want to put our little straps want to be incorporated in that facing and so I have my little straps. Make sure that you've got them stitching sides together or opposed but just make sure they're the, both the same unless you've stitched on two sides then you're right. And I have sewn them in place one centimetre from each edge and just sewn very close to the top and so they're going to be incorporated within that seam. So as I add my facing piece, just as I have here, I'm going to pin it in exactly the same way. As I sew that little seam, those little straps are going to be incorporated and then when we turn it through, they're going to be nicely tucked in there. So with those facing sewn on there now, before we turn those through, I'm just going to take those little corners off and I'm just going to just notch those little curves. So it just means to that little armhole area. We'll turn through nicely and have a nice little curve. Particularly on such a little garment. And then it's just a matter of turning them through. You can see there we've got our little straps that are incorporated beautifully into that facing, push out our little corners gently and then I'm going to roll those seams out and I'm going to do the same with the front and just take it to the iron and give it a little press. Those little facings are nicely pressed there. You can see it's such a lovely finish. You could top stitch that edge across there if you wanted. I just don't want to add any unnecessary bulk there. And because it's such a, this is a little lightweight chambray that I'm using here and it presses up so beautifully that it's a lovely clean finish just as it is there. So our next step is to sew our side seams. And when we do that, we're going to incorporate our facings in with it also. So I'm just going to pop a pin in here down the bottom and I'm going to open up my facings. I'm going to push my little seams downwards. See I'm pushing those little seams downwards. I'm just going to pop a pin in there because I want those little two little seams to be lined up. So I go straight through those two little seams. So I know that's exactly right. And then it's simply a matter of pinning all the way along. Your little pattern will fit beautifully. And you actually sew 
from the top of that facing all the way down to the bottom of the leg. And once we have turned that through, that little facing will fold over and all of your raw edges will be hidden. I will sew that one and I will also zigzag that little seam so it's nice and neat and tidy. And then I will go on and do exactly the same for the other side. However, I will pull that one out and give it a press while I can still get it open. I like to press as many seams out as I can. There you can see my little side seam stitched and I've done the little side seams with a little zigzag overlocking stitch. And at the same time, while those little legs are still open, I've done that little tight little zigzag across the, the hem of those two because we're just going to be folding those up twice and uh, that will just stop that little seam from fraying. So the next thing we do is we're just going to sew our inner leg seam. So we have right sides together still and we want to match up those two centre seams, the centre front and centre back seam. And I'm going to pop a pin straight through and make sure it's straight through the centre of both of them. And that way we'll be right on either side of each leg. So there we go, we're just going to pin, just going to pin and sew that seam there. And I will also do my little zigzag overlocking stitch on that one as well. They're all sewn up and turned through. And you can see that I have just pressed up those little cuffs just two times. So that little, that little uh, stitched overlocked edge is hid in that little cuff there. And the final thing that we need to do is just add our little fasteners. I'm just using just a normal little press stud, which are quick to put on. And they're actually good because for, for little ease, who may like to dress and undress their little dolls, the little snaps are really easy for them. So generally I use the little negative side and that one goes just on the corner there on the back. But when I'm sewing it on, I don't sew through both layers because we want that to stay nice and nice and uh, clear at the front there. But we, because we've got that lovely facing layer, we can just make our stitches just go through there. So I sew the little negative ones to there and then of course our little positive snaps on this side. Make sure that they're sewn on the right side and they can clasp it there. So the best thing to do is try your little overalls on your little doll. Make sure that your measurements are right, that they're sitting just right over the shoulders and then sew your little snaps in place. So there we have him all finished, all dressed up. He's got some swag now, this little bear. So his little scarf just knotted around his neck. You can tie it up any way you, that you like. You can see that you could add a lot more patches and detailing and so on to them. Also, the idea of making the little overalls up in a more of a girly fabric, um, something like I've got my little, my little smooth fox terrier here and I made her a little pair of overalls in that lovely bright floral. So you can see they can look quite girly. So have a bit of fun with them and I hope you've enjoyed making him. Well, thank you for joining me today in making this little bear's outfit today. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next upcoming little animal doll in the series. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a puppy. If you have enjoyed this video, you could give me a thumbs up. That would be absolutely beaut. Most of all, remember everybody, if something good comes your way to pay it forward because we all can. And until our next video together, it's Huru from me.